Hello, Zany friends. I am Lainey. I am Marshall. We have part two of our holiday collection video. And in this video, we have 13 cents. We'd be jamming. Welcome to the holidays. Like we said in the first video, a lot of these scents were around in the past two years we've done this, but we got brand new artwork on it, so that's why we are highlighting them again. Also because it's the holidays. You know how it happens. Mm -hmm. All right, let's start with the ones that we have only available in sprays because they have cinnamon in them. Mm -hmm. The first one we have is... Better watch out. Which is based on the movie Krampus. If you have not seen it, it's kind of a horror holiday movie. Um, mm -hmm. We usually watch it pretty close in the beginning of the holiday season, although we don't have a copy of it anymore. We used to. We're going to have to get our hands on one. Mm -hmm. um, but we are redoing Krampus if you guys haven't seen Krampus. It's a German... German? It, it's kind of alongside the whole Santa myth. In, in the original mythology, like some people believe that Krampus was just this, this dark thing that came if you were not good all year. The shadow side of Santa Claus who gave you stuff. Who even Santa Claus came from another myth. But this kind of takes that to the extreme where those that have forgotten the spirit of Christmas who make it so that their family hates them and wishes that they had no family anymore. Kind of a home alone situation. Krampus comes and takes your family. Very forcefully. So the scent notes on this are pine, holly, cinnamon, and citrus. And because I have cinnamon, there's no spray. But this is really good on a tree. Oh, it is really good on a tree. I always forget how this one smells. It actually came about in our 2017. It was the okay. first year we were out that we had, I don't know if you guys remember, but we had a uh, 12 Zany Holidays wax sampler that we did that year, and that was one of the scents in it. And I think it, I, I still like it. I think it's mm -hmm. really great. Yeah. Um, it's very different from the other Christmas tree scents that we have. It's much more pine and spice in it. Oh, mm -hmm. it's so good. It is definitely a Christmas tree smell. Mm -hmm. And the artwork on here shows little Waldo, and he's got himself one of those ugly Christmas sweaters on, and he's got this strange bell that says Krampus on it, and he's got a shadow around him. He's about to get stomped on. And if you do remember the original artworks that we had, the artwork for Better Watch Out had these bloody hoof prints in the snow, mm -hmm. and this is kind of a reference to that. And if you remember, it actually, the way he did it was he would take two cents, and they would go with the digital desktops, you could put them together and they would make one large seascape. And I believe it was this one and Fallen Christmas Star, mm -hmm. which we're going to talk about next, were the ones that were together. So you could see, I think, the shadow of Krampus. And then it looked like he had walked over... Uh, and knocked over the kid. The kid from Christmas Story and then <laughs> went through to this one. So yeah. it was kind of funny how that was put together. Yeah. I think this is really cute. This mm -hmm. is, he's got a little bit of a, hey, what? Yeah, what's what going on? But again, really great. So let's talk about Fallen Christmas Star. It's Christmas Story. This is a movie that probably everyone has seen multiple times because they showed it for like 24 hours every multiple year. Multiple forms as well because now yeah. there's like two a, different a musical. Versions. Well, yeah, there's a musical, which we did watch some of it, but we didn't end up finishing it for some reason or another. But I enjoyed it more than the movie. I'm not a fan of this movie. I It kind of annoys me. So I do not watch this movie anymore. It's so sacrilegious when I say that and I get hate. Just something about it where I'm just like, ugh. It's the kid. <laughs> The Probably. littlest kid, he is oh, annoying. I'd rather watch Home Alone. Anyway, mm -hmm. Falling Christmas Star is Sugar Plums, Candy Canes, and Spearmint. A very big peppermint spearmint thing happening with this mm -hmm. scent, for sure. Yeah. Again, this has cinnamon in it, so of course we can't do it in a scrub. Mm -hmm. Or a roll run. And the artwork shows Zane dressed up as said kid. Um, arms all a fluffer. Um, up, up to his side. So you can barely even tell that it's Zane, except for his eyes. Uh, but the, the, it's, a, it's a funny picture, and I really mm -hmm. like that. We spent a lot of time trying to get his arms more. More. I was like, okay, cool, he's got his arms up a little bit. Of course, like, make it fluffier. <laughs> okay, cool. Make it fluffier. All right, and so that's what you get. <laughs> he is a very fluffy Zane. Much fluffy. 
-hmm. And the last set that does uh, that does contain cinnamon, so we can't have it in scrubber spray, is Bright Light. Now, Bright Light actually came out, I believe, in January of this year. Um, done by my friend Valerie, she uh, wanted to do a gremlin scent, and because it has cranberries, there's like a spiced cranberry, a snow, and ginger. It was very, it's very Christmassy smelling even though it came out in January so we decided we were gonna make this as part of our holiday collection permanently now and and besides that gremlins does take place around Christmas it does because that's the whole reason why he gets the mobile yeah it's it smells nice like it's not my favorite scent we've ever done for the holidays but it is kind of like a spicy cranberry and what this does do is like the ginger gives it an interesting twist in that it isn't just straight up like cranberries and snow. It smells like you messed up Christmas dinner and went to a Chinese restaurant instead. That is kind of what it smells like. Art. Art. Well, hi, Eleanor. She's one of our brand new characters. She got her own scent Catterday evening. And here you have her dressed up as a mogwai, but that that helmet is just too hot for her to wear because she's already got fur. So she's taken off the helmet and is cooling off just a little bit. And when I first did a version of it, she was wearing the helmet and she looked so convincingly like a Mogwai that we had to be like, eh, well, let's take off that helmet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so she gets to be her own cute self. Let's jump right into scents from 2017 and we'll try to go semi-chronologically. And these, of course, are all going to have scrubs and roll-ons available because there's no cinnamon. Mm -hmm. So the first scent we're doing is Rose Such a Clatter. Now, every, now year. every year, people go, I do not know how to say this. I, it's, is it Rose Suchak, Suchak ladder. ladder? No, guys. So one more time. Every time you hear the poem, The, the Night, Night Before, Before Christmas, Christmas it is up on their roof there arose such a clatter but the kid in the movie says what is a rose such a ladder instead of a rose such a clatter so if you just think of a rose such a clatter and say it this way rose such a ladder you'll be fine it has a amazing creamy hot cocoa scent this is one of my favorites during the holidays because i love hot cocoa during the holidays, it makes me feel all like warm and fuzzy inside. It's got a little inside. bit of marshmallows on top. And it's so good and I just love it. And people, when they smell it, go, I can't believe this doesn't smell thick. It actually smells like you opened a packet of Swiss Miss, got the powder in the air and you're like, oh, yeah, that's, that's this. this. <laughs> Why we have that scent is that uh, in the Santa Claus, which mm -hmm. is where this comes from, they go to the North Pole and one of the elves, Judy, comes up and gives them hot cocoa. It's the best hot cocoa in the world. And Chicken not stirred. Mm -hmm. Extra chocolate. What else did she put in it? I can't remember. Yeah. There's some other stuff. You can then see in the new artwork, this is Jelly dressed up as Judy the elf. And she's got her cup of hot cocoa. And she's just freaking adorable. She also has little like stars and moons leggings. You can barely see them, but they're there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think in the in the original thing, they were part of her her dress. Like the, they were like pleats, and the material was on the inside, or was it leggings? No, she was wearing leggings. Leggings. Yeah. They're leggings. Okay. Yeah, it was just that her dress had slits in it. Ah, so you could see it. Mm -hmm. I love Judy. She's great. Mm -hmm. She thinks Santa Claus is sitting on her. It's amazing. Yeah. And again, you can get this in both, all three. Mm -hmm. All right, the next one is, yes. Um, Love Actually. Mm -hmm. This is, to me, you are perfect. And it smells, ha ha ha. Yes, I for, always forget. Every year I forget what this smells like and we bring it back out and I'm like, yes. It is sugar, definitely the holiday season. Sugar now. cookies and pomegranates um, and vanilla. <sighs> so good. I always forget how good this is. Guys, get this scent. It's really good. <laughs> I might steal one of these scrubs from me. <laughs> what happen? I'll sniff it again. A huge ensemble cast. Love Actually is a very good one. We chose to highlight kind of two of the storylines, but there's many, many, many more. And they're all interconnected. And granted, yes, this is not necessarily a child's Christmas movie. There is adult themes in this movie. My husband really wants to do a cut version where he takes those parts out so that it's okay for other people to watch, but we fast forward through it, whatever. Yeah. The scents 
We had come up with a, a reason why we did these scents back then. Mm -hmm. It was based off of some sort of dessert that they had. Banafee the, pie. Yeah, but we don't know what it smells like. No, in fact, Banafee pie, I believe, does have bananas in it. We did not put this in it, but it, but there is a point where Kira Knightley's character comes up to the door and she offers him Banafee pie, and she, and he said no, and she goes, good, because I want to eat it all myself. Well, it smelled very similar to this, but it had bananas in it, which we did not put in the scent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The artwork has Andrew Lincoln's character. In the final scenes, he is confessing his love to a woman that he cannot have, he knows he can't have, and he's trying to be good about it. And get over it. And get over it. Mm -hmm. So he confesses and is like, and I'm done. And he does so while her husband is in another room. So he does it with signs that he had all prepared and he had music playing to, so it sounded like he was a caroler. And in there, he says, to me, you are perfect. Although the outfit he's wearing here is not the outfit that he wore in that scene. No. It's just a very iconic sweater that he wore. Mm -hmm. Next to him, we have Waldo, and he's dressed up in the octopus costume of one of the little children from another scene because they're having an activity play. And you've got to have a second lobster and a first octopus in every nativity. So there is the uh, Spider-Man wise, wise man. Yeah. Spider-Man, Spider Wise Man, Man. Spider-Wise Man, um, which is also pretty, pretty mm -hmm. ingenious. What I love about the costume in this, too, you guys gotta go back and watch it if you didn't notice this. So he, the, when he's sitting in the car, he's sitting between the Prime Minister and the woman that, you know, was used to be his assistant, and the octopus is in there, you know, like this. But if you look at the bottom of his tentacles, it's bubble wrap. Mm -hmm. Like, whoever created this costume, genius, bubble wrap. And at first I thought it was, like, Velcro. Because that would make total sense and Velcro will stick to it, but then it would also stick to itself. So she did it with bubble wrap. And that's totally a, a mom thing to have made. All right, our next set from this year is one of my favorite Christmas movies ever, Elf. And we got the Funkos right up there. Of Buddy. Buddy and what's her name that I, why do I always blink on her name? You're blinking on her name too, aren't you? We'll just edit that out and have her name there. Yes. I can look it up. That's right. Her name is Jovi. This is Candy Cane Forest because he goes through the seven la layers of the Candy Cane Forest, through the Swirly Twirly Gumdrops, through the Lincoln Tunnel. He needs a hug from a raccoon. This is Christmas trees and candy canes because it's exactly what the Candy Cane Forest probably smells like. Yeah. Also, wow. very, very Christmassy. Very cinnamental. It's so, not as much cinnamon, more on the mint side. The sentimentality. It's it's a nice wake me up kind of scent. Mm -hmm. It's really good for the artwork. Shows Zane as Buddy the Elf, and hey, there's Waldo again. He is really prolific this holiday season. He is dressed up as the raccoon, and he is wanting a hug. Don't hug that raccoon. It's not a good move. This next scent we have actually was not part of our holiday collections. It was but part of the Twelve Zany Holidays. Yes, but. It was created to honor our mother, and in the recent years, we decided we were going to retheme it with the same name, same scent, just a different outfit, and have Ravenna as Rachel from Friends. There you go. We realized that this is kind of a holiday area. It's not Christmas, mm -hmm. but it's the holidays. So we just came in and changed the background. Exactly. We didn't make it before and then we were we hadn't decided what the background was going to be for the christmas collection yet that's why we had to change it but since it's now permanently in the christmas collection that's or the holiday collection that's where it's going thanksgiving pie is a pecan pie and tart cranberries now let me smell this one more time so this scent is like a bakery cranberry scent and to me this screams thanksgiving at least in our house mm. this was what it smelled like it was cranberry relish it was a pecan pie and this is what is encapsulated in here now if you are thinking okay well i don't really know if it smells that good to me also keep in mind the recent theming so i'm gonna have marshall talk about the art and i will tell you why it works rachel has an episode in friends where she has an incident she's making a, a traditional English trifle. An English trifle. But the cookbook had two layers, two pages stuck together, and the other side was shepherd's pie. She's making both of them at the same time in the same container. Meat, potatoes, and peas, and, and vegetables. And custard, and lady fingers, and fruit, uh... and yeah, it tastes like feet. Joey says, what is there not to like? Everything's good. That being said, if you see on here, that's exactly what the art is. If you smell this scent, it is probably like what that smell. 
<laughs> at least the sweeter elements of that, yes. of that dessert. Well, you're not really sure, like, it could well, be a dessert. It's but... because if you take a look at the top layers of it, there is whipped cream and berries on top of it. So mm -hmm. that's what you're going to smell when she's taking it out of the kitchen. Mm -hmm. But when you go into that kitchen, it's going to smell like a horror show. Yes. What is she wearing? She's wearing the outfit from another of the Thanksgiving out episodes where they all play football, and she's wearing a girls' boxing club uh, shirt. Mm -hmm. um, she's got her hair up in braids, but the shirt has its boxing gloves replaced with Hershey's head. Because I've got to have Easter eggs. This is why we have multiple holiday scents for everyone. Not everybody is going to like the scents, but somebody somewhere might, I guess. So in 2018, we actually had a competition. We had multiple people help us create the scents mm -hmm. that month. So the first one we are going to talk about is called Pass It On. It is based on the Muppet Family Christmas, which we actually purchased while we were trying to create the scent and now we are watching mm -hmm. it every year again. Pass It On is apples, rock candy, and peppermint. It's kind of like a fraggle rock. It is a, it is a TV movie and they're all celebrating Christmas together in the same house and the mm -hmm. fraggles show up and they sing a song about giving to each other, pass it on. The song originates from another episode in Fraggle Rock called The Perfect Blue Rolly, and that's what you're seeing here. You have Hershey as a doozer holding the Perfect Blue Rolly, and in the episode they all pass around these spherical objects that they find called Rollies, and they pass it to another person, and it brings good luck. Mm -hmm. If you look at this and you go, that doesn't have much to do with Christmas, it, 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 there's layers. There are layers. Yes. Mm. So we redid the artwork for this one. Yeah. You had a cave with the rolly in it. It was being held up by a fraggle. And now you've got him mm -hmm. as a doozer. And this, the way that I built this is I've actually got a teeny tiny uh, Funko of a doozer. And so I was just like, mm -hmm, okay. And I just put on as much as I could. Mm -hmm. and this is so fun. Yeah. So this is Stephanie who came up with this one, but mm -hmm. yeah. Next set is called Don't Blow Away. It is based on the movie The Holiday, which is a movie about two women, one from London, one from the USA, where they switch houses, like in a holiday house swap thing, mm -hmm. and they experience each other's lives. This is the Almond Macaroon Chocolate Covered Cherries scent. It was created by Natasha. I actually really like the scent. It's, yeah, it's a good scent. It's very Christmassy. The macaroons provide like a little bit of a different, sweeter... It's a different texture mm -hmm. in the scent. But I, I love mm -hmm. this one a lot. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is one of my favorites. And I'm really excited that we're doing it in the infused oil this year because I think this one's going to be great for that. Yeah. And the artwork, like, we loved the artwork that came out for the original version. We mm -hmm. had the two houses that were connected by these blowing leaves that then became snow over the other house. And in this... We have Jelly and Ravenna, and they are dressed up as the two main ladies. And it's very convincing. Like, they really look like those characters. Mm -hmm. At the same time, though, their roles are reversed. Because Jelly is playing as this very bookish uh, woman from London. Mm -hmm. Very insular, very, like, she, she's more intellectual and shy, where Ravenna is playing as... Cameron Diaz's character. Yeah, it's but Cameron yeah. Diaz's character. She's playing as her, who is very outgoing. So the two of them have swapped roles for this, mm -hmm. and they're rocking it, and they're just having fun. And yeah. I love that, because normally we just go with straight, like, this is, this is what they like to do. They just decided to switch this time, mm -hmm. and I like that. Mm -hmm. The luggage is convincing. You can get that as a spray, a roll-on, and a scrub. Mm -hmm. And you should. You should. Our next set was not submitted by someone else, but it was named by someone else, I mm -hmm. believe. And Andrea, who's mm -hmm. also on our team, she came up with the name Hark. And Hark is based on a peanut, so it's Charlie Brown Christmas or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, peanut butter, cookies, and candy apples. So it's like Mommy's Milk and Cookies, but Catterday Evening is the new scent. It's like that, only it has candy apple in it because it really does, it smells yeah. so much like candy apples. And then the peanut butter cookies is like this like mellow out. Kind and then, of this also kind of gets back mm -hmm. to our family yes. in that we, one of the family treats that we do very often is apples and peanut butter. Mm -hmm. We do that a lot. It's kind of a down home scent for us too. I wore this a lot during last Christmas mm -hmm. season. I wore that thing right out. It was good. So in the artwork, we have Hershey, and he is dressed up as Charlie Brown, but it's a mixture of different outfits, because when you see him in this movie, 
that the, it's based off of. He's wearing a different outfit, and you don't really recognize it as a Charlie Brown outfit. You mm -hmm. just know it because there's Charlie Brown. So we cut the hat, but he's got Charlie Brown's normal uh, shirt. And behind him is the sad excuse for a tree that they later come together and decorate as a, as a group, as friends to support him, and it becomes beautiful. Because that's where true beauty lies. It's in friends coming together to support each other. I love the scent. It, okay. It's a nice solid scent, and you should also roll it on. Our next scent is created by Lisa, and it is Christmas Snowflake. It's based on the Grinch, and it is snow, cherries, and pie. This is a very nice scent. It's very Christmassy. The snow. The snow takes the center stage in this one. Definitely does. Where a lot of other ones where there's snow in it, mm -hmm. and there's kind of this background kind of filler in between two scents, this one is where it comes out to the front, and the cherries and the pie kind of waft on the breeze behind mm -hmm. it. It's more environmental. Mm -hmm. This is a very environmental scent, which is really important because like this is not just any of the Grinches, because there was the Grinch Who Stole Christmas, the original cartoon, then there's the new one, and then there was the live action one with Jim Carrey, which is what this is based off of, which very much had a lot of environmental design going on. In now this scent this month is one of the two that we have available in wax from a previous collection. Um, and then so Christmas Snowflake, you can get them wax, scrub, roll on, and spray. This is Colada, and she is dressed up as Cindy Lou Who, and this was just so adorable. But that nose, seriously, that nose was a pain. It took us forever. As a group, we're all sitting there being like, can you zoom in more? Look at that nose. I do, it just doesn't look right. Uh, and all three of us were working on that thing for like, what, 20 minutes? Mm -hmm. it, was, it, it was a pain. Mm -hmm. But her hair is really cute. And she's got a present for you. The next scent that you can get wax in from a previous collection is Pumpkin King. Every year, people want the scent in wax. Every year. And every year, we end up with like 10 extra ones. This year, we did not make as many, I'm just saying. But it always, it just, it makes me laugh that people are like, we always want Pumpkin King and Wax, and then like we always end up with a lot left over. But you should want Pumpkin King and Wax because it's amazing. Um, it is based on Nightmare Before Christmas, and it is dark chocolate, popcorn, and caramel. It doesn't have the fake chocolate smell. Mm -hmm. This isn't like Rolos. This is, this is like, mm. Mm -hmm. this is chocolate. Definitely, you want this in in a wax especially with the new wax formulation the artwork uh we weren't just gonna go and remodel jack the pumpkin king because that's just a little too on the nose for us so we have ravenna dressed up as sally and floating alongside her because waldo's just got to be in everything this year he's dressed up as zero and i i love the look on ravenna she's doing a very good impersonation here she looks a lot like sally it's really cute. Lots, mm -hmm. lots of little patches in there. Mm -hmm. uh, we have one other scent that's getting renewed this year and in this Christmas season. And it's not because it's a Christmas scent. It has nothing to do with Christmas except for maybe some snow. I think we just needed to get it done. Yeah, I, I can't <laughs> remember why we did it anyway. It, just, it was done. We decided right. to, okay, let's just put let's it out go right for now. It. And this is Darkness Must Pass. This is for the Lord of the Rings. It smells of mountain wind, rain, and snow. Very much a woodsy scent, mm. but it's got all these other elements behind it. Again, an environmental kind of scent. This uh, was created by my friend Valerie for the, I think, the roulette box we did in 2018. Mm -hmm. um, and so we, we wanted to obviously give it a whole new... Oh, with our book, we're actually gonna put this in our book collection because we're doing Lord of the Rings. And you book. can actually see on the back of that that does have the back the book's background. Mm -hmm. We had originally developed for the, the uh, A Mind Needs Books uh, mm -hmm. scent. Uh, here in the artwork, you have Zane and Waldo. <laughs> Zane is dressed up as Samwise Gamgee from uh, from Lord of the Rings, and he's got Sting in his hand because this is drawn from the scene where he fights off the giant spider Shelob to save F Bill Frodo. 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 Yes. Fro Frodo, Bilbo, whole bunch of other things that end in O oh, we, we don't speak about here on this channel. But um, <laughs> just love too many O names in The Hobbits. Uh, and you have Waldo as a... Uh, <laughs> Two hours later. 
Oh my. Yep. Uh, you have Waldo as, as Gollum. And he's kind of like, ah! And you can look, he's got the ring. He's actually got the ring, just as that last little bit. So I, it's, it's a nice shout out back to that that one set. Because in the original artwork, it was Samwise and he was fighting Shelob, and you could see Gollum in the background. Um, I like this one. It's nice and cute. It's, a, it's nice. And that hair, that hair though. Yeah, it's so curly. <laughs> That is it. That is our entire holiday collection. <laughs> we, we got it. Yes. Um, I think over the, the two months, we that is 24 different cents that we heated the artwork for. Go Marshall. Um, so I'm going to take a nap now. Like a week or so, okay? We are not going to be doing this many cents in 2019, 2020. What is next year? 2020. We're not doing that many. So just, you know, Keep an eye on the channel because we're going to be doing an update fairly soon. Also on Instagram because I have actually a lot of really cool things going on on Instagram. We're having like a, some quotes on there, some contests with the quotes, and some book reviews, and some movie reviews. And, and we're really going to be like working a lot with making sure that everything is the way that it should be. Dialing in on what you guys enjoy and on what we enjoy in the new year. Because hindsight is twenty twenty. Yes. I see what you did there. Until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.